A future WrestleMania match between The Rock and Roman Reigns was teased during a scene on this week's episode of Young Rock. The sixth episode of the show's second season aired on Tuesday night. During the program, Rock was just beginning his wrestling training with his father, Rocky Johnson, at the time. He's later shown with his family watching Yokozuna wrestle at the Royal Rumble on television. A young Joe Anawai, Roman Reigns, is watching the event as well. Joe jumps on Rock's shoulders and asks for someone to give him a Samoan drop. When no one responds, he asks them all to acknowledge him. That's historically inaccurate. Joe pleads with his cousin to wrestle him in the living room, but Rock tells him, quote, The world's not ready. A match that big can only happen at WrestleMania. Now, I've been wrong before, okay? But WWE absolutely, 100%, without question, wants the Rock and Roman Reigns to headline next year's WrestleMania in Los Angeles, okay? I have said from day one, I don't think this match is going to happen. And the reason for that is because, you know, The Rock is, is, uh, he's a big time movie star. You guys aware of that or not? So, uh, you know, The Rock does a movie and he makes $25 million or something. So in order to do WrestleMania, number one, he's got to clear his schedule of any movie that's going to pay him $25 million to do a WrestleMania match where I'm pretty confident they ain't going to pay him $25 million. That's number one. Number two, even if you postpone your films, the last two matches that The Rock had in WWE, he seriously injured himself. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the last two matches The Rock had. But it was with John Cena in 2011, and it was with John Cena in 2012. Well, looking at my calendar here, it's 2022. So the last two times this guy wrestled, he seriously injured himself. And he was 10 years younger, okay? The guy that injured himself seriously in both of those matches is 10 years older today, all right? So I'm sure, I'm sure that Rock would love to do a match with Roman Reigns. I'm sure that Rock has verbally told WWE, you know, I'm going to do everything in my power to do a match with Roman Reigns next year. I'm sure that WWE is presuming it's Rock and Roman Reigns next year. I think it ain't happening, okay? But the fact that he put this in Young Rock, I mean, I think that he in his brain is committed to doing this match. Obviously, WWE, in their mind, they're committed to this match. So it's going to be very interesting to see if the match takes place. Obviously, you know, we'd have the biggest match in WrestleMania history two years in a row. What a coup that would be. I don't know what they're going to do about that afterwards. You know, WrestleMania 2024, 2025, et cetera, et cetera. But that's clearly 100% absolutely the plan. And uh, we'll see if it happens. It's a good plan. (laughs) It's a really good plan. You're running Hollywood and... uh... You know, I don't know how you check on somebody's production schedule for movies. I'm not into movies and all that, but, you know, I guess you can. everybody can start paying attention to what Rock's got, you know, in his future plans. I know he's got the XFL stuff that's going to be coming up that I guess in theory, you know, next WrestleMania would be kicking off the season around that time. So maybe that's something that he wants to do, and I'm sure he wants to do it. I'm sure he wants to do it because it's wrestling and it's the rush. I'm sure he wants to do it because it's family, and it would be awesome for Roman, and it would just be what a – what a moment it could be that that entire weekend, the celebration of that whole Samoan dynasty, you know, everybody in, in California, that would be that would be really cool. And I'm sure they're going to do all that stuff anyway. But I guess then the question is, if they don't do The Rock, what do you do? And as it stands right now, you know, we don't want to see Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns again. What would the answer be? Could it be Cody or what I would like? But you'd have to keep him very safe throughout the entire year it would be nice Braun breaker because i don't know what else other than the rock you know what what exactly what can you do to pull somebody in and i don't know who's going to be on the market or anything like that but just as it stands right now it's like well if it's not rock you better keep Braun breaker strong that way you could have a really you know a hell of a showdown between he and roman for that show you know what else i might mention before i go to uh, dynamite here today is you know, I, I think I I think I can figure out what is in The Rock's head as far as uh, this WrestleMania match. 
And uh, that is that, yes, you would probably have to give up a fair amount of money. Because you got to think about this. If Rock's going to do WrestleMania, it ain't just one day. He's probably going to have to show up around the Royal Rumble, and he's going to be on TV for three months leading to the Royal Rumble. And he's going to have to put a lot of uh, commitment into this, okay? And yeah, it may not be worth the $25 million he would make to do some, you know, blockbuster or whatever. But, but, Royal Rumble... Royal Rumble to WrestleMania. You know what that is besides WrestleMania season? That's XFL season. And uh, The Rock owns the XFL. And so potentially, I would bet in his mind, it's I am going to do this WrestleMania, and I'm going to be out there every week with my XFL jerseys on. Absolutely. And I'm going to promote the hell out of this XFL because that is a long-term investment for myself. And so, you know, the show, if I'm on, on WWE television, it's going to be 2 million viewers every week, most likely. So uh, I'll get out there with my jerseys on. We'll have, edit, we'll have XFL plugs. I'm sure Vince will be thrilled to be uh, plugging the XFL that he basically sold and then the Rock bought. But uh, I would bet that there's a great deal of, of synergy that is involved in this deal. And that's uh, one of the reasons that he wants to, uh, to get this done. Of course. Of course. Think about all the other things that he does, too. And, you know, the Super Bowl's in February. They're going to try to kick this thing off, you know, for spring season. And, you know, there are a lot of other things that he can do that week that can tie in all of his other businesses and, and interests and things like that into that week. So, you know, any money he does lose. And, yeah, again, I'm, I don't think anybody's going to be playing any violins for The Rock. The Rock Bartlett is the man. He tried the best he can. Vince on the new woo! What Rob Biden's gonna do to you? Vinny B, Happy Corbin, and Bartlett in a three-way. Oh. Here comes the commentator, Rob Bartlett. He's a great imitator of Vince McMahon. Rob, you're the love of my life. Come back to Monday. What? Wow. Is this Rob Bartlett? Guilty as ch- Hey! Oh, look who's here on the show, everybody! There's a star here. Rob, hey, Rob Bartlett is joining us here today. How you doing, Rob? I don't know what to say about this. To actually be proposed to in song was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I couldn't really do much of an impression of him other than the, the tone of the voice, you know? <laughs> He still got it. <laughs> he still got it. I think I had the wrong guy. Well, what, what did you learn about the the Rob Bartlett that you you uh, you checked out? He was an explorer way back when. That's not him. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He was born August fifteenth, eighteen seventy five. And uh, died you, April 28th, 1946. He died in, okay. But you thought he might be on the show this week. Well, I couldn't figure out why you guys picked him. You can go to the Brian and Vinnie Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Hey. Aye, 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 aye. Well, there he goes. Very aye. prestigious. You get nothing. You've warmed the cockles of my heart. I have warm cockles now. and um, <laughs> Lucky fella. I'm... Uh, I'm I'm moist. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm moist. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.